Hello everyone, this is uh, Lazarus Fan talking at you again. Doing a uh, another collection uh, video here, my laser discs. As you can see by the title, this is Animation Popery, meaning this is all the other animation titles that I've had that you know aren't anime, aren't D Disney feature length titles. Uh, there are some Disney in here, but they're not the feature length titles. Mostly like you know, Disney shorts and things like that. So um, let's get right into it here. All right, this is um. Let me get both these out of here at the same time. All right, we got the uh, American Tail, uh, the Steven Spielberg produced uh, animated feature, and American Tail: Father Goes West. Um, these I was happy to get because they're both in CAV, um, but only uh, Father Goes West is in widescreen uh, or letterbox rather. Um, I believe um, the DVD that's released in America is not uh, widescreen or letterboxed. Uh, it's because, uh, so this would be probably the only way you can get this uh, movie in a letterbox format, because I'm pretty sure they don't really, they release this on VHS letterbox. And I was so lucky to get this because um, I bought this when one of my, uh, one of the places I used to rent uh, lasers from. Um, they were going, they were liquidating their, liquidating their laser stock to make room for DVDs, and uh, they were selling this one for $5. And this one actually, actually was never rented. And they checked the record of it, and it said it was never rented. So it was basically, I got a new laser for 5 bucks <laughs> back when lasers were still kind of pricey. Um, as you can see, it still has the uh, rental label on there. I should probably take some, uh, <laughs> take a, uh, what you call it, a hairdryer to that to get that off. But, uh, but but it's neat that they're both uh, in CAV plus they both give you a nice gate folds here. Um, this has some supplements on it. This uh, the original one here. Um, what you call it? Uh, presentation behind the scenes. Um, it's it's in CAV, so it's all like still still photos. You gotta step through it with your lasers player to see all the uh, all of the photos and storyboards and stuff like that. Uh, this one, I believe, the only thing it has as a supplement for prize is the, uh, what do you call it? Yeah, just the actual trailer. Oh yeah, there's the video store where I used to go to, TNS video. I miss your TNS video. You are awesome. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, and it's also, you know, the, this, you know, the first movie is uh, directed by Don Bluth, as most of you know. This one was directed by Phil Nibelink. Um, I don't remember how many films that Phil Nibelink's, uh, Nibelink, uh, actually directed for Steven Spielberg's uh, Ambl Ambl Amblimation Studio, as they called it then. <laughs> yeah, Amblimation, because it used to be Amblin Entertainment, then Amblimation. So, um, yeah, the uh, he I know he did this one, plus uh, We're Back, A Dinosaur Story, which I thought was crap. Uh, it looked pretty, but it was crap. Um, but uh, I don't know if he did any more after that. I'm pretty much sure they kind of probably close up the animation studio after that because they're getting their ass kicked by a, re a resurgent uh, Disney at that point. So, uh, but then they went over to, you know, here's DreamWorks Animation. I guess that's what became of the animation studios. Animation division came DreamWorks Animation uh, with Prince of Egypt. Uh, this batch actually, I just picked this up, one re up recently. I was lucky to get this one because um, this is one of the later uh, Laserdisc releases. Um, I think it came out in 90, 1998, the Laserdisc at least, so anything like 99, 1998 and beyond is kind of rare because they're, they're scaling back to Laserdisc releases at that point. I um, haven't watched this yet, but a friend of mine says she's, it's really, really good. You know, it's the animated take on, uh, the, on um, the Ten Commandments, so to speak, so that should be cool. Alright, moving along. Alright, this is Gargoyles the movie. Uh, not really a movie, though. Uh, this is just a... Uh, a fast forwarding of the original five episodes of the Gargoyles animated series that came out in 1994, I believe. Um, and uh, yeah, there's uh, nothing special on this. It was just that I, you know, I thought it was really neat because they, uh, it was Disney was making this really dark animated series that was airing uh, from day to day. And uh, they had. Uh, I didn't get to catch all of it because I was, right after they started airing, I got, I got shipped over to Japan in the Navy, so I didn't get to see all of it. Um, but uh, what I did see, I liked it. And plus, I thought it was really cool because most of the animation was done by the TMS, Tokyo Movie Shinsha. Well, a lot of it anyway. Not, not most of it, but a lot of it was. Um, and the uh, voice actors were a lot of stuff. A lot of the, uh, the actors, some, most of the actors, a lot of the actors were from uh, uh, the Star Trek Next Generation, which I was a fan of back then. Uh, 
along with John Rice Davies and things like that. So uh, I liked it, but I heard that uh, I didn't get to see all the series. My friend's saying is like it got really crappy into the later into the later season. So don't know if I'll ever finish that up because I don't want to be, you know, have my uh, <laughs> have my uh, you know, standards uh, destroyed by that. Okay, here we got a couple of uh, Charlie Brown uh, peanuts uh, titles here. Um, Boy Night Charlie Brown. This is the first feature length Charlie Brown movie, I think. Where he does that, uh, I think he does a little spelling bee in that. This is old, uh, you know, uh, old uh, analog laser disc. Means it's got analog picture and sound. Well, analog sound, no, no digital sound, because all laser discs are have have analog picture. But uh, yeah, that one's uh, not that good of a transfer either. But these ones were pretty good. Um, this was released by CBS, and these were released by Pioneer and pa pa Paramount. I think Paramount put the rights to the. To the uh, the Peanuts TV shows. So this one is Charlie Brown Christmas along with You're the Greatest Charlie Brown and it's the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown with uh, it was a short summer Charlie Brown. So these are uh, these are pretty cool to have and they're, and they're in CAV as well so you get, stay, you get uh, your frame by frame, uh, frame by frame step uh, and they're also they have digital sound on like the, the movie here so glad to grab these. Okay, let's pull these at the same time. Uh, these were the um, some of the initial MGM UA releases of some of the uh, Looney Tunes. Um, these also I bought at the uh, at TNS Video when they were when they were looking, looking the laser disc. So I got these for uh, for good price. Daffy and Porky. I mostly got this one for the Daffy stuff. I mean, I do love Porky, but I mean, these the Daffy stuff here is great. Um, especially one of my favorites is book review. Um, oh, no. <laughs> If I had Aladdin's lamp for only a day, I'd make a wish and here's what I'd say. Nothing could be finer than to be in Carolina in the morning. Beep, 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 whoop the bay. The big bad wolf in a suit's gay. Hip soup, sad little suit, who's head. Hip to old up to grandma's bed. Hip to see little soldier's ears. Suit, suit, sad little crepe ears. Hoop to tail little juice, who's head. Up to better to hear you with. Hey, hey, ho, ho, how about that? Says who, how about what he actually got? Little day to a little dead. Read to turtle to see you with. Hip to add a little sense of peace. Suit, suit, sad little great big teeth. Hip to tattle little tail to tap. Hip to tattle to eat you up. To rain, to rain, to rain, to rain, to rain. I think I used to have it on my old ch my old channel, but they, uh, it was taken down because of Warner Brothers. Um, it was really really great stuff. Um, just love that short a lot. Um, and this one here, Bugs and Elmer, I just bought because you know they just you know it's Bugs and Elmer. Um, it also does have some Daffy Duck on this one with uh, with uh, <laughs> Bugs and Elmer have, uh, with Daffy Duck uh, starring in this uh, in those things. So good to have both of these, but uh, they might be obsolete if I start getting some more of the later titles, as you'll see. Um, okay, this is one that my aunt get, got more for me when she saw it at a, uh, <laughs> at a thrift shop. It's Beyond the Mountain's Eye. Um, you know, it's just a, you know, some dated CG animation from back in like 1994. So this is, um, you know, it's just the, the, the I think they've been, this has been like reused in uh, some of these things. Like I think it's been reused for uh, uh, The Lawnmower Man and stuff like that. So um, I haven't really watched it because, you know, it's old and dated, so <laughs> I figure there's not really much to watch, but I'll get around to watching it sooner or later. Alright, here we got uh, Heavy Metal. This one, uh, this movie I kept, uh, this movie I actually saw in a um, drive-in when I was uh, like five or six years old. <laughs> um, my, uh, you know, my mom thought, hey, it's animated, it must be for kids. <laughs> Boy, was she in for, for surprise. So. And uh, this took the longest time for it to come out on home video. I heard because it was the uh, the rights to the music were never really settled for home video release until what was it, 1996 when it finally made it to home video. And uh, as soon as that came out, I got this laser disc, and I was so happy to get that. The only problem is um, this uh, laser disc is suffering from laser rot. It's because any time I, I, I put this out to anybody who starts collecting laser discs, please, if you're going to get any things released by Sony Columbia, have the person who's selling it to you check it out first because Sony Columbia, the, D, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the printing plant called uh, the DA, uh, Sony DADC, uh, they were notorious for releasing the discs that were flawed and, you know, and the, disc, the, the disc always rotted out. Um, so you know, this, is, this is one of them. 
So uh, it's hard to find a clean pressing of this. Uh, I, there are some out there. I want to. I want to find it, unless you know the Blu-ray comes out sooner or later. I'll just get that one instead. But I mean, I do like this movie a lot, uh, mostly for, for nostalgia's sake. <laughs> First time I saw animated boobs. <laughs> so, all right, here we go. You got uh, Tex Avery School Brawl Classics, and all this in Tex Avery too. These were uh, initially released by MGM UA. Uh, or by Turner, because they own, he owned uh, Turner Entertainment there, because they own MGM UA's uh, 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 Warner's and MGM's uh, uh, cartoon uh, cartoon uh, library. And this contains uh, Texas Avery School Ball Classics Volume One and Two that were released on VHS. This contains three and four. Um, so you got a lot of good stuff on here. I have some of the uh, well. Some of them, uh, one, at least one or two titles on my uh, channel here, or it was just one left now because these don't care about who killed who. <laughs> but uh, I have those on my channel, these a uh, couple of these on my channel. Um, these I might be selling soon because, well, you'll see. I'll get to that sooner or later. All right, here we got some more Looney Tunes titles here. We got Ham on Ride. We got Curtain Calls. We got Duck Victory. Some more Daffy Duck titles here. These I all picked up at a um, at the same thrift shop that my aunt bought that uh, Beyond the Mind's Eye. These were five bucks a piece. I couldn't believe that when I got these. These are all uh, digitally remastered. The earlier uh, MGM UA releases of those uh, Bugs Bunny and uh, Bugs and uh, Bugs and Elmer and da uh, Porky and Daffy, those were all completely analog sound um, and old transfers. These are completely redone transfers, uh, digitally remastered with digital sound as well. Uh, so this is a uh, this actually looked pretty good. I mean, there's still a lot of film grain or not, or film imperfections on there, but it still looks it's looks, it looks a lot cleaner than it was before. So you got a lot of uh, cold Duffy stuff, Daffy Duck stuff on here, but doesn't have my favorite. Doesn't have uh, book review. So keep holding on to that one, Daffy Duck. <laughs> Maybe uh, I have to check the, some of the later releases that I've got here. I got some good uh, Daffy Duck. I mean, uh, Bugs Bunny stuff here, like the Rabbit of Seville. Uh, this curtain calls, so it's a lot of theatrical type stuff. Like, uh, yeah, the uh, one thing with the frog was his, uh, what is his name? Michigan Mike or something like that? Michigan something. <laughs> That's that frog's name, I can't remember him. And some more Porky Pig stuff. Um, like I said, this probably doesn't have some of the, uh, the t uh, some of the titles that were on that uh, earlier release, so got to hang, hang on to all of them until I can get, well, you'll see later on. Alright, we got uh, this is Wallace and Gromit. Uh, Grand Day Out and the Wrong Trousers. Uh, these are in CAV. I uh, I actually never I got these as part of a uh, package deal, so I never got around to watching these. But my friend says they're really they're really funny. And plus, with uh, you know the same directors, uh, what you call it, uh, Pirates Band of Misfits. Out, I might as well get around to watching these, so we can see what uh, these are all about. My friend loves them, but I just never got around to watching it. Okay, another one of the Disney releases here. This is an old Disney release, uh, Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. This one is, uh, was released only in uh, analog sound. And again, got this, a lot of these older Disney releases I got as, uh, as part of a package deal, so I um, haven't got a one to watch in this, but I do. I should because, you know, Tigger's awesome. Okay, Tale of Two Chipmunks and Unsinkable Donald Duck. Uh, these are released, I think, in two different VHS releases. Uh, like I said, I haven't got around to watching these though because um, just, you know, <laughs> part of the package deal, so I never got around to watching it. Oh, here we go. This is uh, Donald Bluth's uh, The Secret of Nim. This one is a, it's a good transfer because there was two releases of this on Laserdisc. There was an earlier MGM release and this is the uh, MGM re-release uh, digital transfer. I think this is the same transfer that was used for the initial DVD release, but uh, I don't know if the any subsequent DVD releases had a, had a different uh, transfer. But uh, really great movie here. And it's probably, I think Don Booth's earlier work is what got, you know, put the boot up Disney's ass, try to get off their asses and start getting, uh, creating better uh, animated films. Like, if you see this stuff in the early 80s, early and mid 80s, it was solid but nothing, you know, spectacular. And compared to like The Secret of Nim and, um, you know, the, the First American Tale, those looked a lot better than what the Disney was putting out at the time. Save for maybe, like, I think, uh, but uh, it wasn't until you know, the, the Little Mermaid that they started, you know, it's like, okay, let's start making our animated films like we used to. 
and uh, so I get back to that era of greatness there. But uh, still a great title to have. I think I have the soundtrack of that as well on CD. <laughs> mm -hmm. 